How's it going, everyone? I'm going to talk about all three stocks at one time um, because um, everyone wants to hear about the GameStop, the AMC, and the FFIE. They kind of all do the same thing. So I'm going to go over real quickly what do I see real quick to keep you guys updated on the system. So as you guys know, FFIE has made a ton of money for a lot of people, but it has given back a lot of that money. And it's just sad to say. And if you guys follow the system and, and to a T, you could know that this is you know, disgusting. Like, the, the, this kind of price action is in balance. It's hitting my upper band, which is an ATR4. It went to a high of 8 ATR. I was looking to short it, and um, it just went tumbling down. It had it went to the EMA 5, 10, and 20. The, the purple's the 5, the EMA's 10 is the yellow's the 10, and then the blue's the 20. If you guys want to know this lingo, how to effectively do the strategy, there is a link down below to get to my YouTube uh, um down below in the YouTube comments, it's pinned. And I go over all of this, guys. I, I see so many charts, and it's just, it's nice to see it because this system really does work. I promise you, if you are patient and you rely on this system, you will get more precise entries, right? So, um, FFIE was a very nice trade because as it went tumbling below the EMA 20, obviously the ATR4 bands, which is this band here, um, I, I do use this a lot if it presents and there's a buy area, I'll use it. But since it went so far up, you can see that the bands go opposite directions. And so now this band is trying its best to go back to FFIE. And as you can see, yes, it's a negative number. So we can't obey by this. So if we're going to trade based on FFIE, we have to look at a lot of factors. Um, the time distance away from the EMA5, are we going to get that nice rejection? Um, um, I, you can do based on trend channels. What do you see right there? As you can see... Um, you could take a, an entry at the lower here. I would have um, honestly waited uh, for some time distance. As you can see, you ended up getting that right in here. And look at the flush you had up in there. So that, that is not a bad way to do it too. And as you can see, it, it made a massive area. Th this right here is your buying area. Because, um, you know, you had this big overreaction. It was at the bottom trend. And... It, it was just amazing because of the uh, time distance from the EMA5. We knew we had to touch this purple band. So right in here from 40 cents all the way to 70. I mean, look, look at the gains on this, guys. You know, if you would have taken this and it even went lower than 40 cents after hours, you could have made a nice 75%. And um, it, it's just uh, beautiful. And we ha and, and just to show you guys, we do hit the ATR4. And as you can see, if you're patient enough, look at these all these candles going down and then Bam, we go back up. So it does happen sometimes. You just got to be patient. Um, so FFIE, you know, had this big rally up. You know, the Rivian had that deal with Volkswagen. And they are just going up, right? And here's the thing. We hit the danger zone. We are above the EMA 20. It's looking a little scary. And guess what happens? Price reverts back to the EMA 5 because it has to do that. And as you can see, we're right on it. But I do think maybe, guys, just maybe, we can go back up. We'll see, though. We did cover the first gap right in here. As you can see, this was scary. It might have, it, it was looking like it might have covered both gaps, but we stopped right here, covered this, and then started shooting back up. So, um, can we go up higher? I don't know. But if you guys were, if you guys did have bags and you did accumulate accordingly, I'm hoping this got a lot of people out right in this area and um, can readjust your entries or, or, you know, trade it how you want. But right now we're on the EMA5. What we're looking is, are we going to get a bounce up from there? If we don't get a bounce up from this area, we are going to start heading down uh, because these EMAs are going to start doing, you know, we're going down. But as you can tell, guys, we hit the EMA20. We had to hit the EMA20. We just don't know the time frame. As you can see, the last touch was here. We had time distance from the EMA20. Big, massive candle to hurry up and hit it. And we went through all EMAs, which is beautiful. So that's the FFIE update. Uh, just be patient. Um, it looks like we might be forming the new trend up, as you can see right in here. Um, we, we hit here, bounce here, um, trying to form it back here. And it might hit down here and go, you know. We'll, so we'll see if this trend is respected. This is a short-term trend, as you can see, you know, very clear. Um you're having this kind of pattern going up and down, up and down. So let's see if this creates a nice uh, move up. But do keep in mind, pennies are risky. Any type of news can make it go down. So, but as of right now, FFIE looks bullish. GME, GameStop. What has going on? Big consolidation. You know, I, I kind of forgot about Roaring Kitty having this in the hype. <laughs> are we going to go up from here? 
and like I said, it was very boring, right? Um, uh, it's just like, as you can see, we have clear support here, nothing much going on. Uh, hold up. And, and, and that's really what you're looking at. Clear support, and are we going to hold this? And then we have clear resistance right in here. So we're, we're looking at, you know, can we get out of this channel here? Um, but I think it, it looking like a setup move to go up. We filled the gap down in here. As you can see, we had to move up. And we, you know, you know, it's nice if you fill these gaps fast. And that's what happened. But, um, yeah, very nice. Because, yeah, we had this uh, gap too. And we filled these gaps almost to a T right up in here, right? So, um, uh, can we get above this recent high of $48? Anything is possible. We went from 17 all the way to 47 But I will tell you guys this. The bands are very tight. And as you can see right here, there's not much action going on. All the bands are tight. So that is a possibility that we're squeezing up to go somewhere big. A lot of the times what, I, uh, what happens is when you see this, there is going to be a lot of consolidation. This isn't my really my entries that I, that I like. I, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I like to trade it. If it's going way up in here, um, at the ATR4, I look to short it. If it's going way down below here at the ATR4 for the green band, I look to buy it. This is really my best opportunity. I did get it right down in here. It was touching the... Um, it was below the EMA 20. The bands were kind of fluctuated out. And we had the EMA 5, which has not been touched with quite some time. Look at all the candles not touching this. And then, bam, kaboom, we get a candle that touches the 5 and the 10. And that was, at the day, 25% up. And then we still make a, you know, I would have take that gain. And then it just kept going up and up and up. So, that's what we're having here. This is not really, you know, I can't really say this does not fit my criteria because we have no time distance of the 5, 10, or 20, but it is going to make a big move soon. AMC is breaking out here a little bit. Uh, let's we'll see what the trend is for the short term. Um, that's the short term trend, as you can see. Um, it is trying to break out. Uh, will we get above this? I'm not really sure, to be honest. So, um, not really the buy opportunity. Besides the trend, I will say um, we are above the EMAs, which I tell people we never buy above the EMAs. If you missed out and you didn't get in, then you missed the boat. Let the train move because the train can go back down and pick up more passengers if it's one, two. You know, you, you, know, you want to always get in your entries under the EMAs, which is all down in here for a least conservative thing. And then I, I didn't mention this too, but we have to look into the lower time frames. As you can see, oh, it looks like AMC had a like that last pump 10 minutes. I look at the five minute chart. If I don't see anything at the lower band, I just don't take the trade. As you can see, the lower band is down in this area. And this is where we look for precise entries. And when the trade sets up, sets up for a swing trade, um, then I'll look into it. But yes, I will day trade and be like, okay, this is a nice shorting opportunity to go down from there. And then you can short if it hits the upper band. Because you're in a shorter amount of time frame, you're going to hit the 5, 10, and 20 really fast. So, you know, it, it does it rapidly, right? And as you can see, AMC has been constantly doing that. But I have not seen a bottom band touch on the 5 minute for me to take. Unless right down in this area here, this was looking uh, rather decent. As you can see, that's the kind of the areas you take it. You would look to take an entry at, towards the end of the day. This was about 250, and then right down in here, if you know, if you waited towards the end, you would have accumulated all these shares down up down at these lower bands. And as you can see, we had this nice little pump up, and what a beautiful gain, right? If you would have held this all the way up in here, wow, wow. So yeah. That was that's really how I do it, but like I said, it's not a swing trading strategy for all any of these three, in my opinion. FFIE, you know, they're all kind of doing the same. GameStop is the one that's really in a tight consolidation, and I expect you know a move up from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. These are one of the three favorite stocks to talk about: AMC, GME, and FFIE. And I appreciate you watching. If you guys want to join the premium Discord, it's always there for you guys. I'm going to make sure you guys are profitable traders with a system that works, back-tested, and proof. I've been doing this for over six years, constantly updating it. And I show you guys my exact trades. You get entries and exits to your phone. And um, I have a journal to prove that I win you know, the majority of my trades. If you guys want to join the premium Discord, click the link down below in the YouTube comments. It'll be pinned and says, join the premium Discord for my alerts and system. And then the, um, when you take, click that link, it'll take you to this free chat landing page. All you have to do is head on over to server shop and choose the subscription that fits 
your personality and your budget. The $12 a month is the day and swing trading plus that gives you access to all my channels, my future education and um, alerts that go straight to your phone for day trades and swing trades. It's one of the best in my opinion. You're gonna get the most bang for your buck. And then I also have Swing Trading Plus. So all these channels here are gonna be blocked unless you subscribe, but do to keep in mind, if you subscribe on your computer, it is cheaper than on your phone. I do want to keep, you know, let you guys keep that in mind because the, you know, since this is Discord, it's through the app. Um, the app, Apple will charge an iOS fee. Um, so just, just be wary of that. I want to save you guys the most money. I think this is a really nice system because we're patient. We don't just, just randomly get in. If no setup is there, no setup is there. Um, I know a lot of people were back holding a lot. And as you can see, when we're below the bands, you have the best risk versus reward. Um, and then you look for smaller time frames to get better entries. And that's the best way to do it, guys. So yeah, that's the Discord. Um, as you can see, you're going to have Swing Trade Alerts, Education Videos, RTK Journal, Day Trade Alerts, and all that good stuff, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys like the, vi uh, the video, give it a like, subscribe, comment. And I love you guys so much. Hope you guys had a wonderful Sunday. And I'll keep you guys updated on more stocks I see. And happy trading. Let's make some money, guys. Peace out.